Hey, ladies. Hey, gentlemen. I'm sure that as we've gone through high school so far, we've had a lot of romantic encounters. We've had middle school girlfriends. We've had high school boyfriends. We've even had thoughts about partners in our future. Will we be married? Who knows? Now that brings up, how will we introduce ourselves to these future people that we want to see in our lives? Will we bring ourselves up with flowers? Will we go through online dating? Will we go with classic charisma and leave notes in lockers or even just pass them a letter? Or will we go with a modern Riz? Today, I will be discussing the difference between Riz and charisma. First, we start off with Riz. <laughs> this is a modern slang term that's been just a shortened version of classic charisma. Um, in my opinion, there's too much confidence. It's, like I said, shortened. You just put yourself out there. It brings up new words such as gyat or even Rizzler. <laughs> These words can tend to be demeaning to some people, and they can often dilute the meaning of what some people find true love. <laughs> um, we've seen trends going around where people follow girls through the hallways, where people go up to boys and try to compliment them, but it just seems rude and out of touch. They make people uncomfortable. They tend to bring less to the person that is being subjected to this kind of content. And overall, they bring a bad mindset to people who are coming to watch. It can put forth bad views and it can reflect horrible people as they start to uh, go through their own lives. What we do can affect others. So when we choose to raise somebody up, we got to be careful with how we approach the topic. <laughs> Passing a rose over to Charisma, we go back a bit further in time and we get to see how things used to be done. In high school, people used to slip notes in the little vents of lockers. They would pass notes to each other in class. Even some relationships that I know started in middle school when they would just throw a ball at somebody, say, oh, I'm sorry, but I think you're cute. And then they would start a relationship that way. And 20 years later, they're still happily married. Uh, we know flower shops, they're everywhere. We even see some in downtown and we can buy just huge bouquets of roses and daisies and lilies just to make people feel a bit better. We see stories of romance that always involve charisma, always being your best self, always putting yourself out there, always just standing in the limelight. Stories such as Romeo and Juliet. Yes, they both died at the end. They killed themselves for each other. But that's what was seen as modern charisma and modern love. As we move on through our own lives, as we try and evolve our emotions, and as we try to evolve our taste in ourselves as people, just so we can be presentable and be the best person that we can be, we try our best to find people that we can share these moments with. We want someone to love, someone to hold someone that we can ensure that we will be happy with for the rest of our lives. We find these people, we propose. Sometimes you don't, completely up to you. Depends on what benefits you want from the government. But we find those people nevertheless. So I bring you to your choice. Do you choose to riz somebody up or do you choose to go up to someone with modern charisma? I encourage that you be the best person that you can be and always be honest with yourself and your partner. Just remember that you have to love one another, but also love yourself before you can love someone else. Thank you.